guys, welcome to Soul Fashion Basic. I'm Catherine. So right now I'm on my way out, but I do my makeup. I filmed the process of me doing my everyday routine makeup and then wanted to share with you guys because I post a blog post about my makeup essentials and one of the viewers actually suggests me to why don't you just film the process of you doing your everyday makeup. Just in case you guys haven't seen it, here you can click here is the link to the post and I post my makeup essentials. Every items that I use in this makeup routine video and also it's something that I use every single day. And one more thing that I want to mention about is thank you guys so much for voting for me for the Star Central Magazine contest and I finally won it and I will put the link of the kind of like an interview or kind of like the writing things about the fashionista of March in the description bars below and I would like to have you guys go there and take a look and check it out to know more about me because it's more like an interviewing thing. There's a lot of things that about myself that maybe you guys don't know about. I am not a makeup guru and I am not a makeup expert. What I'm doing is just basically my makeup routine for every single day, even for school, for videos, for um, outfit of the day blog posts or just anything. So this is the finished look of my makeup. So after I'm done everything and then I look like this. And my makeup is always like very natural and I don't like to be look very dramatic. So it's most likely very simple and very easy going but I just want to share with you guys how I do it and I also want some feedback from you like how can I improve it or how can I do it better. What kind of looks that you want to see me wearing in my future videos maybe I'll give it a try and let's go and see it. First, I moisturize my face with a toner before doing anything. Then, I prep my face with this NARS primer. After I prep my face, I make sure I have sunscreen on to protect my skin. After the protection, it's time for foundations. My current favorite go-to foundation is this Giorgio Armani Maestro foundation that I discovered not long time ago and I applied it with the Real Technique brush that I really love. I love how this foundation has a drop design that keeps everything clean when you're doing your makeup. I use this brush in the circulation mode to put on my foundation. After I'm done with foundation, it's time for me to cover or highlight my dark circles. I use this Garnier Skin Renewal skincare product because it has a light color and it kind of works fine with me. After dark circle, it's face spots concealing. I use this concealer balm called Time Bomb and I'm so in love with it. I can't live without it. I did have acne problems so there's a lot of scars on me and this lasts so long and works so fine with the coverage. Now it's time for brows. I used the brow kit powder I got from where I do my brow threading and I'm just using a Sephora angle brush. I like to go with dark brown brows because it looks very natural on my face. Now it's time for eyeshadow part with my favorite Naked 2 palette. I like to use a boxy color over there to do a baselet on my eye to even out the color. Then I will use a darker brown color called Tease on the Naked 2 palette to darken my crease area. Because I don't want to go with a very dramatic look, so the darkening of the crease is very minimum. 
Then I use my index finger to dab into the booty call color to act as a highlight on my brow bones. Then I would still use that same brush to dab onto chopper to kind of add some shimmering on top of my eyelids. Then I need my index finger again to dab onto booty call and highlight the highest point on my eyelids on top of the chopper. Last but not least, still using the same brush to dab onto the darker color which is called busted to kind of line my water lines to give it more definition and connect it back to the upper eyelids at the end of my eyes. After done with my eyeshadow, it's time for the eyeliners. I'm using this eyeliner from NYX and it's a dark brown color that's very watery and easy to apply. Since I'm going for a very natural look, my eyeliner is very thin and very close to my eyelashes. One more step before my eyes are done is to curl my lashes and do mascaras. My favorite mascara for now has to be this Lancome mascara in the Star Collection. It has two different kind of brush hats on the two ends that's so easy to apply both on the upper and lower lashes. When I'm done with my lower eyelashes, I use the eyeshadow brush I used earlier and then use the darker color to clean it up again. Then I go into the contouring part of my face where I work with bronzers and blush. Again, I will use one brush for all and the first one is a lighter bronzer I use all over the edge of my face to kind of give it more definition and reshapes it. After done with reshaping the whole face with a lighter bronzer, I go into a darker bronzer where I give myself more definition on the lower part of my cheeks. Here I'm just showing the comparison of the two colors. Then I will still use the darker bronzer using my index fingers to kind of contour my nose part to give a illusion of a higher nose bridge. After that, I can use another favorite item of mine which is a NARS blush stick in the orgasm color. I will just kind of use this to highlight my apples to give me some color and smile face. Finally, another shimmering bronzer with the same brush to highlight the highest points on my face which is both of my cheekbones and my forehead and chin and nose bridge. After that, I need to go wash my hands and get ready for the lip balm because I get easily irritated around my lips. Then the last step is lipstick. I do lipstick based on what I feel like that day, so today I'm doing a very matte and peachy color. Then put my hair down and I am ready. Bye guys!